And hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included Spaced Out. Uh, to get rid of this gas pocket, which is kind of annoying me, even though it's not really causing too many issues, it still just kind of annoys me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to break out into down here, put the new tile in, and break this here. So hopefully this gas will just flow down under here and into here. That's the plan. Whether that's going to work, how well that's going to work. Yeah, I really have no idea. So we'll find out. Another issue we've got is... Um, I really don't have any more fresh water, which means these are going to run out sooner rather than later. And that means that I'm going to be out of food. So yeah, that's another thing that we're going to have to do is I'm probably going to have to figure out how to take over this thing. Another issue is the amount of power we're using. We simply can't keep up with demand. I suppose I can uh, disable that entire setup, come to think of it. And I can uh, deconstruct that one too. Yeah, the power is starting to become an issue with how many different things I'm running, so we need to start working towards punching out and start setting up, setting up solar. Uh, and there's basically a whole bunch of different random things that really I need to work on. So we got that going. We'll let them chew on that. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Yeah, can let this stuff get cleared out. Grab them. Well, I'm starting to get in some eggs and stuff from in here, which is good. Really got to work on the kitchen. But, uh... This thing's going to be tricky. Because it's emitting steam at 110 Celsius. Which is eventually turning into water, which is about 70 Celsius. And I need about 20. So... Let's see. Each of these drops it by 15. Hmm. Speaking of which, how is our temperature doing here? Well, it looks like it's dying down a little bit, but, uh, yeah. This is still going to be a problem here. <clears throat> so, yeah. Hmm. Not quite sure how we're going to capture this and drop its temperature where I need it. But at least the cooling loop is working kind of decently. So I can either try to teleport to another world. How do I want to do this? And yeah, the uh, level I was planning on using as a breakout level, yeah, that's a, that's a non-starter. I suppose I could break out over here. Basically, I need to create another liquid lock just so that I've got some place I can get out of the base and 
figure out from there. I bought a, got a bunch of glass here. And these decorations are going to get in the way. Now well, let's, uh, stretch that down to there, that there. So that's going to give us that area. So let's make a new airlock, but we'll make it uh, roughly here. Keeping you charged, which is good, but I don't have any extra hydrogen, <clears throat> which is bad. Oh, right. It's because I haven't hooked you up to gas yet. Looks like this one's keeping up pretty decently. Okay. Let's get our fire pole extended down the next last little bit. Here. I'll get the liquids cleaned up in here before I do anything else. Hmm. I got a bunch of liquid there too. That's not going to help much. Now if I cancel that, put a ladder there. Just do that. It's going to let a, bit, a little bit more mess in, but then when I dig over it here, this stuff uh, should just drop down right into here. So let's get uh, those in place. And there it ran out of power. Hmm. I might have to capture this just to turn it into uh, hydrogen. <clears throat> well, let's start uh, figuring out plans for here. So first things we're going to want is uh, going to want a ladder there. Let's get three ladders there. get that sealed off. I 
I don't really care if any of this gets polluted. I, I can uh, deal with it later. Let's just get this stuff done. Then once that's done, I can start breaching over here and we'll turn this area here over into our airlock. Yeah, I'm not even going to attempt to analyze this because uh, it's too active and I have no way of shutting it down. Oh, and let's see, we've got 17,000 pe people, so let's, uh, <clears throat> hmm. Farming, research, and building, nothing really of too much use. So, Oxyfran it is. Why is there no storage available for polluted water? Breach those two. That should get the oxygen flowing. There we go. So hopefully we'll see this stuff drain away now. should be a void so if I technically if I clean that up it should still keep this contained okay good Getting a decent amount of uh, polluted water in there. Far more than technically should be able to survive in there. And we got more research available. Okay, let's see here. And that's going to be our next one. Or next two. need to work on a kitchen. Well, 
once I get uh, this area set up so I can breach out, it's I'm going to go straight up and I'm going to go for uh, get access to space because uh, I'm going to start needing solar power pretty quick. Get that out of the shell built. We'll have to get. Hmm. You know, I should probably design down here as well. you. <clears throat> I'm going to need any water pump that goes in here is going to have to be high temperature. So with the plus 50, that should, uh, yeah, it should make it 125 for the overheat temperature. And luckily this is only coming out 110. So we'll get our liquid pump, put it there, get our insulated pipe. our uh, power feed and then once I get that dug up and can fill in that and again that there this should be hopefully a pretty decent setup set up another cooling chamber or something around here are working on that. Let's get uh, those in there just to make it a little bit easier for you to work on the roof. Get that one there. <clears throat> and once all this is cleaned up we can go from there. Might help a little bit more of the airflow. Okay, that's working. Have I got a pier cleaned up yet? No. Let's get all this set up to priority seven. are all built. Let's get these all put to priority nine. Eight. Told you to go to priority nine. 
I'll get that built. And once I get the airlock built, I can breach into here, figure out what all this is, and start clearing this area out. Although I will replace like this stuff here with just straight up normal tile. And I suppose I'm gonna have to turn around and pull this and start getting it looped around. buried and that's out of power again and so the system works just not when I don't have adequate power hmm should work for everything in here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do a complete new power, new oxygen setup. That's gonna have to include a chamber just to dump all the extra O2. Well, I suppose I, sh I should start getting that designed. Okay, so let's do that. That For ventilation will get a gas vent there. Drop that gas pipe down to there. And because we're going to want some way of getting stuff out, we'll grab that. Yeah, and then we just need to put a little bit of water down here just to keep, keep it so the gas can flow. And that'll be good for our oxygen. I suppose I, sh I should probably build one for hydrogen too, now that I'm thinking about it. You know what, let's uh, not even go with that design. Hmm. It's actually looking more and more like I'm just going to break out over here quickly just so I can start getting this built. Okay, so first let's get the water separator. So for oxygen, we're going to have an electrolyzer, but I'm actually going to put in two. Hmm. Let's see. No, because I only need to keep... 
Yeah, I could just send it all directly to here. It's already got a temperature issue though. Hmm. Do I want to do it that way? That goes... Okay, that's for polluted water. Why is that down... Oh! Ooh! That could, uh, yeah, you know what? If I turn around, connect those there, just quickly cancel that. Those can be destroyed. We can deconstruct that one. We can make use of this piping. Okay, so we can uh, grab that. And that'll get it to uh, roughly where I'm going to want it. Roughly. Turn this into insulated tile to there. That to insulated tile. Now we'll cancel buildings. And once I get this section built, I can close that off and keep this area relatively isolated. <clears throat> now it's only a matter of figuring out how to deal with this. Hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. I can I can work with that kind of setup. I have to put a ladder in here. Get people down. And I can of course uh, convert and change this all later. Need to dig that out. Dig that out. Cancel that stuff entirely. Actually, you know what? I should probably still do that stuff. Bring you down to there. Dig that out. That stuff will have to get built first. That that'd work. Let's see. Uh, Cancel that. Okay, so that's just about done. We can uh, dig all this stuff out. Put another thing there just so they can get to that. Ooh, 
Taku. Slowly it's draining out everything. Ooh, snazzy suit. And since you're doing such a good job, you can get the snazzy suit. And let's get our research, because you're completing your research uh, faster than I'm even paying attention to it, so you're doing a really good job. And get more research going. And skills. Who's got skills? Max, what were you working on? Uh, you're going towards mechatronics. Yeah, let's get you tidying. We're working more towards mechatronics with you. I'm going to have to work on figure out how to get uh, you some more morale. I guess I don't need you. Don't need you either. Well, temperatures really can become an issue. to get some way of controlling the oxygen extra oxygen you know what I could just shove it in here temporarily yeah that is an option hmm because whenever that overpressures send it out and about dump it into here yeah, it'll be messy, but I uh, don't really see much other option at the moment. Don't really have the space for anything. I want to get a bunch of research done so I can turn around and actually redesign a bunch of this. And let's get that set like that. You can get built there. I should be able to go like that. That'll at least trap the extra oxygen so these things will run until they, they shut off. Okay, you guys aren't liking the 30 some odd degree but water over here yeah th this stuff's gonna give you nightmares I don't have any sort of suits that you can use yeah I really should probably look into making a medics bay or something we'll deconstruct that Put one of those in. And we'll get that set there. 
which will be used as the uh, air lock control. Mainly because I don't really want to do another liquid lock. Try to, try to get the mess before it spreads, guys. It's the, the problem with liquid is it just, like, s keeps spreading. This should hopefully stop it. No, it just skips right over it. Figures. get uh, you deconstructed you deconstructed well oil would work well if, if I knew how to use them Yeah, it must be built on top of uh, an oil reservoir. Well, I've got no idea what one of those is, so... Kind of a ha little hampered at the moment. Yeah, just uh, keep you open for now. Set you to auto and then you guys are good. Let's break out there. water, especially since it's so hot. And once all this stuff is built and I got this powered, then I can disconnect uh, this section here. And that will basically just keep that going. You know what? I could also just turn that and hook that directly to uh, this. This is going to be the only other use for it. Yeah, who knows. Well, we got our uh, breakout location done. That deconstructed. Get 
Get that built. And just as a precaution, go down there and Shut those off so they can't go outside right now. But I'm going to want uh, this stuff to be done first. This is so that any liquid that for some reason gets locked through here from wherever method outside is going to hopefully just drop down and just start filling up in here. Yeah, that's not what I wanted you to do, guys. And, of course, you guys are dumb and trapped yourselves in there. Um, Rob, you see the slight problem where you're at? are so dumb. Yeah, no, get get out of there. Why are you going back in? Get out. Oh my god. Stop trying to work in here. Get out there. Get out. Hmm. You guys are dumb. No, where are you going? There's no. Go back there. What? Seriously, I've told you not to prioritize any of this stuff. Leave it alone. Or how is this hard to understand? Oh, sure, so you... Oh, God, guys. <clears throat> Seriously, guys. 
get out of here. No! Stop going down there! Oh my, you guys want to die. That's the only conclusion I can come to, is because you guys keep going down in there when you know you're not supposed to, and I tell you not to, and lo and behold, you get yourselves trapped because you can't listen. Seriously. You, you, you guys seriously are. Okay. Give me you. Move here. Oi. Think with the amount of times I told you guys to get out of there, you'd get out of there. No, you turned around and went wandering right back into it. Oh, I swear some days these things want to die. And there they go again. You know what? No. Get that done. No. No, you guys, you move to up here. No, you move to up here as well. And once again, oh, oh my God. God, you people cannot stay out from un. Uh, uh, I might as well get this stuff done because you guys refuse, categorically refuse, to not wander down in there. And you. Uh. Yeah, Rob, I know you're hot. I know it because you keep walking in here. I've told you guys not to. But you seem to think that, oh, it's a great idea to go wandering in there. But still, it's uh, been a bit of a long episode, so I'm going to call it here. Hopefully I don't lose any dupes to this stupidity, but uh, there's not a lot I can do when I keep telling him not to do something and they go into it and do it anyways. So, um, yeah, this is Zeofate signing out.